Hey guys, welcome back to my Osaka card hunt. This is part 2 of the card hunt, so if you haven't checked out part 1, the link will be in the description box below. And again guys, super crazy, we just went to Toreka Park over there. And here we are now at card game shop Prezu, <laughs> Playzu, and yeah, directly the next place, let's check them out. And there's actually the next place, so let's get first in here and then we'll go there. give this place again 7.5 out of 10 points because they had some really cool cards here also for Yu-Gi-Oh! did you see that holo Akti? that card actually was a promo which is which was limited to 10,000 copies and this is also why this card is so expensive it's also an OCG exclusive card it was never printed in other languages and there was also a small sheet of paper which actually comes with the card if you won the lottery and if you have actually both the card and the small certificate, it actually adds to the value as well. Really cool. Again, 7.5 points for this card shop. And now we are going to that place over there. Let's check it out. So the next place will be Torejas, Treasures. This place guys, Treasures, was actually quite interesting because this place wasn't actually limited to like card games. They also had figures and other cool stuff and it is actually the first place where I've seen Bandai cards and also some very old Pokemon cards. So very interesting place and just for the variety of cards they had here, I would give this place 8 out of 10 points. Really cool place, check it out and also some very rare figures I haven't seen so far. Check them out if you're here in Osaka. Okay, so next up guys, again directly, the next place is here. Uh, we have a yellow submarine, long time no see. And yeah, let's check out yellow submarine next. And guys, as you know, yellow submarine is again also not a place which is limited to cards and so on. They also have a lot of other stuff like board games and so on. And let's see if they have some cards for us.
All right, yellow submarine, very default place I would say. And from now on, I would just give a lot of seven out of 10s for places which have solid selections of cards, but like didn't amaze me with like special or exotic cards they have. So yeah, seven out of 10. If you're here, definitely check them out. It's one of the staple places. And again, the next place is already in ice reach. Let's go there next. And it's actually directly on the opposite of Yellow Submarine. The place is called Toreka Chance. Let's see what they have. Some Pokemon crane machineries. Do you believe that these cards are actually in here, guys? I think so, but maybe very far on the bottom. So it will be really difficult to get these. But yeah, Japanese people love these kinds of games. And yeah, if one of them wins, usually they have like also some posters with pictures of the people who actually won it. But uh, yeah, this is a different place actually. We have to go up these stairs to get to the place. Let's go. Check this guys. Check this out guys. They actually have a live camera showcasing the players who are just playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Really cool. In the fourth floor. <laughs> Never seen this before. Really cool selection. Two Spell of Mask Blue Eyes is here in this place. Wow, nice. Most likely not the best condition. Has a red dot as well. But yeah, very expensive card. Mystical Elf, Gen 1 copy here. Also really cool. Some tokens. Oh damn, this token here from Alex is also very rare. Never seen this before to be honest. 9,000 yen for a token. Just because it's Alexis. Crazy. This one here as well with Anze. Really cool. Wow, cool token selection. Really, really nice. Look at this guys. You can actually fill in some of these like rubbers here with from Pokemon. Fill them in this bottle and the price will be as many as you can fit in the bottle. They also have this for like Kirby and they have this like for, for Mario stuff as well. Look at the Yoshis, almost no Yoshis left here. Cool. Why is there no Yu-Gi-Oh though? guys really recommended place it's also the first time for me being here at Toleka Chance um, I would give this place a solid 8 out of 10 they had a little bit more ultimate rares from the old era from dual monsters and from GX and all in all just a very clean place they also had a corner with like cheaper cards because they were damaged so yeah definitely check these out one of the places I actually like more since we started our small hunt here in Osaka but there's of course a lot which is still waiting for us so let's continue with our card hunt all right guys wrapping up here from treasure chance and now it's finally time to move on to card shop magi osaka i'm very very excited to go there because i have some history with this card shop in akihabara already and they moved a lot of very high-end Yu-Gi-Oh cards from akihabara to osaka to this exact point here to this card shop magi and we will just go there right now we have to go around the corner and walk about one minute Hey guys, I just spotted Kachok Maggi just around this corner. Look over there. Uh, the purple sign there says Toreka Maggi. And yeah, this is actually the place I'm putting all my eggs in the basket because yeah, it, it is my most anticipated place of today's hunt probably. 
so let's hope that we see some very crazy stuff there. I'm super excited. Let's go to Kachapmagi, Osaka.